So, tell me. Tell me. Yeah. Are you looking there? Thanks. <laughs> I'm Steve. I'm Riley. Tax Force is our company. What's the segment called? The segment's called Teaching Riley. Okay, today I would like to know if I'm buying equipment for my business, do I get to write all of that off in the year that I buy it, or how does that work with my taxes? The question of how you recapture the cost of equipment on your taxes is one that does come up an awful lot. And so our props are not only here for Halloween, we're going to use them as an example to how you walk through this. Because the direct answer is no, you cannot write off the entire cost of buying equipment in the year that you buy it. Okay. Basically, the government feels like anything that has a life of more than a year, right? Even something like this coffee cup, if it costs more than $200, you can only take a portion of that every year against the income that you earn in that year. And so the government has actually taken just about every asset that you can imagine, whether it be a tool or an airplane, and told us this is the percentage that that asset uh, can be written off in every year. Okay, so let's do an example then. So my dad's a farmer. So how would that work for him? Like wagons would be different from the combine, which would be the same as a tractor. So let's use candy as the example. So Mars bars can be the motorized vehicle class. Okay. And we're going to use these Maynards to be uh, non-motorized vehicles. So that's okay. just two of the many classes that the government has. Basically, anything that's a motorized piece of equipment, the government says you can write off 30%. Okay. And non-motorized is 20%. Okay. But there's special rules like everything. Typically, the first year is half of the prescribed rate. Okay. The reason for that is that instead of trying to decide what time of year you bought the piece of equipment and prorating it to that month, they say, it doesn't matter when you buy it in the year, you get half the depreciation. Okay. Right now, and it started in the fall of uh, 2018, is that to encourage businesses to make investments, they've increased the amount that you are able to write off uh, in the first year to one and a half times. The normal half of the rate. Uh-huh. Plus the full rate. Plus the full rate. Let's say that a purchase is 10 of one of these. So I bought a trailer that costs 10 minutes. Okay, and I bought a tractor. Okay. What kind of tractor? Uh, John Deere. John Deere. Oh, you're a John Deere family. I see. Okay. Alright. So my trailer was 10 meters and your John Deere tractor was 10 Mars bars. So typically in the first year, you would get half of the 30% that you could take and put against a cost on your business statement. Which would be one in a half. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. And I get pre-eaten pre half. I get, I get half of the 20%, uh, so 10%, so I would get one of those. Hmm. You don't get to open yours. They don't get to open mine. The new rule that started in 2018 said that not only do you get the half, but you get a full year. So you get the 10% plus you get a 20%. So I get, I get my, I get four and a half. You get four and a half. Four, and I get a half. <laughs> huh, I should keep getting skunked here. I don't get to eat any of these. Mm. Mm. Maybe I'll share. I don't even like Mars Bars that much. <laughs> now the next year, you get the prescribed percentage of the balance that's left. So in the case of your Mars Bars, you'd get 30% of what's left there in the second year. And in the case of the maintenance in our wagon, you would get 20% of what's left there. And you're always taking a percentage of what's left in the pool. So if you bought more, the pool would go back up. The pool goes back up. The first year rule applies to just the cost of the new asset and uh, the following year rules applies to the balance. What the takeaway that we want for people to have is to understand is that you do not get to write off the full cost. You do not get to expense the full cost of that asset in the year that you buy it. It's a mathematical calculation that the government tends to tinker with the percentages based on how we're trying to encourage businesses to invest.
So I feel like we bought way too much candy for this example. <laughs> that's okay, I'm sure it won't go to waste. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that that's probably true. It is a complicated calculation. Uh, this is why we're always happy to run through these calculations for our customers. Again, we want the takeaway to be that the cost of what you're buying uh, is not deductible in the year that you buy it. Although there's definitely some things that we can do with manipulating that. Like, if you buy something in December, you get to write it off regardless of how much money you put down on that, or mm -hmm. whether you paid for it cash or took a loan out for it, uh, you get that deduction. So there's some tax planning that we can do around the time of year that you buy an asset. Yeah. Right? Okay, so basically if I'm buying equipment for my business, it depends on what type of equipment it is, and then the government will tell me what percentage I get to write off. That's right, yeah. Each year. Each year. <laughs> and it changes. And it changes.